Now then YouTube, I'm the Top Man and welcome back to more FTB Inventions guys. I am back after uh, last episode, I've just realised Snowshock is just over there. He's on my, uh, he's on my radar. Now then Snowshock. Anyways, uh, let me tell you guys what I've been up to um, in between episodes. So, I looked more into this LPG situation. I haven't seen last episode's comments just yet, so I do apologise for that one guys. Uh, but I... Um, I've been looking more into this LPG um, thing. Oh, I also finished this, guys. It looks it looks okay. It doesn't look fantastic. It looks too much of the same kind of uh, same kind of building, but um, never mind. But I have done. I've I, I went into a creative into a, a single player world, and I did some stuff in the single player world. Um, creating LPG itself is difficult. <laughs> Not just that, but creating enough LPG and then sorting it out for the gas chamber, for the gas turbines, is also pretty difficult. Now the main problem isn't creating enough of pressure, because I can create enough pressure with what I'm doing anyway. I'm on, currently on 0.7 bar. Oh, are you kidding me? I knew this would happen. I'm gonna have to go in. Go in, guys. Yeah, taught you, didn't it? But yeah, um, the problem isn't creating enough pressure. The problem is keeping the pressure at a certain um, at, at a certain place, at a certain amount. Now, I'm not great with redstone, and I'm not great with all that kind of stuff that you can do with redstone and, and what have you. So it's very difficult for me to be able to do this. Um, LPG is done in a refinery, which you can see, uh, that's the thermonuclear process in what's in call it. Um, refiner. It's done in one of these. It requires a diamond to be able to make this refinery though. Um, but it is done in one of the refineries. Let's just try to find it. Right, LPG. There it is. Right, uses, no, recipes. <clears throat> Fluid transposer. There we go. Okay, so we need gasoline uh, to be able to make LPG through the thermoneumatic processing plant. This needs minimum of two bar, but also requires heat to be able to do this. This is the issue of what I've got because the what I use, what I've been using to create the heat, unfortunately, requires a lot of pressure being constantly put into the system because you lose pressure overall. That is what the, where the issue is. Um, now this refinery, it doesn't require as much um, in the way of, uh, of, of heat because it only requires 100 Celsius and does um, make LPG, but it does make diesel. So I want to be able to use that diesel for something later on down the line. However, like I said, overall, creating that amount, I might have to have two separate uh, systems that will allow me to create the uh, the, the pressure needed uh, to get up to that sort of heat for the uh, thermoneumatic Watson it. The other one is the amount of refineries that you put on top of each other. It's a multi-block structure, okay? So if you, it, if you can only you can't have one tank. You've got to have two um, tanks for this to be able to work. So one makes diesel, one makes LPG. Going forward, you get one making diesel, another one makes kerosene, and the other one makes LPG. And then of course the fourth one is diesel, kerosene, gasoline, and LPG. Either which way, you still only get two. LPG, it doesn't matter what you do. So you might as well bang four uh, refineries on there. Heating them up to 100 degrees will take some time though. That's not the issue. The issue is getting the amount of pressure that we need to be able to do this. This little guy has been going forever and uh, still I, I need two bar of pressure to be able to start making some more compressed iron ingots overall. Unfortunately, it's not working, you know, it's not going anywhere near as fast. I can put speed upgrades in. Speed upgrade, it's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Requires sugar, lapis, but it requires lubricant. Lubricant isn't easy to come by. It requires the thermoneumatic processing plant along with diesel. So we can't exactly just go ahead and start creating lubricant. I have no idea what the Imadron tablet is. Let's go and have a look what it is actually, because it, it's buying five 
emeralds selling one uh, lubricant. That's not bad, actually. Who is that? Vendor Armadron. Armadron tablet. Something from Pneumaticraft requires plastic um, from burst plant seeds. Requires this GPS tool. Air canister doesn't look too difficult, actually. The only thing is, I need seeds. Because that I've got enough pressure in my chamber now to create uh, plastic. So I need the seeds to be able to get them. I haven't seen one single seed anywhere. I haven't seen a plant anywhere at all. Let's go uh, to sleep really quickly. By the way, the... I don't know, I haven't seen that. There's a gift at that location. Oh! Oh! Thank you very much. I shall get it soon. See what snow shock has been leaving me. So, um, yeah, the, the seeds I haven't seen anywhere. I'm wondering if you can actually craft them. Plants remove them. Well, there's not soil, dirt, grass, or farmland. Um, plastic mixer. Liquid plastic. We could do it that way, but uh, it's much easier doing it this way with the seeds. Because um, you can make a little farm out of them. Press Q. Or right click. But I haven't seen any seeds. Like, anywhere. I might not have been, you know, looking for them, maybe. But I'm not sure. Um, let me go and have a look around. See if I can find any of these seeds kicking around. And see if I can't make myself some plastic. Okay. Snowshock apparently wants to make me work for this. I mean, oh no, I could go over there, I suppose. That's true. I thought he wanted me to jump that gap. But no, I can apparently... Wow. Whose is that place? I'm off to check it out, guys. I'm off to check it out. There's something here. What is this? Filled with a tingling sensation. Oh. I'll show myself how. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's a story behind this, guys. There is a story behind this. He has his metal farmer. And unfortunately, his metal farmer, he thought he set to uh, make plates. But he didn't. He had them set to make cable. So we ended up with like 1,500 tin cable just hanging around doing nothing. So... <laughs> Let's go and have a look. I'm not sure if this is Snowshock's place or... There was... I think this is Targ's place, actually. I remember Targ saying he's on the mountainside near me. So... I'm off to see. I'm off to check it out, guys. I'm off to check it out. Let's go and have a look. Oh! You! I actually need to kill you. Thank you. Oh, you didn't give me any hide. Now I just feel bad. Now I just feel bad for it. I know. That's what I thought. It's a pig there. Right. We should be uh, here. So I think that's... Is that RF Tools that creates the domes? I'm not sure what creates the domes. Because, you know, just speaking personally... Bugger trying to do... Bugger, yeah, tag look. Um, bugger trying to do this by hand. That's for sure. But uh, it seems that it might be dug into the side there. Let's go and have a gander. I'm not sure if we can get in or not. Don't worry, Tag. I am not going to destroy your stuff. I'm just going to go and have a peek and see what you're up to. Whilst trying to find some seeds. It's a nice little tree farm going on there. Nice little tree farm. How do we get down to the uh, lower levels? Nobody knows. I didn't set the fire. I promise. Is this it? There is a fire. Oh, hang on a minute. It's the generator. <laughs> it's the generator, guys. It's not it's not a fire. It's fine. Oh, this it reminds me. It was telling me that about um he didn't have enough power or something was going on with the power with the uh, RF tools. But look at this. Uh, RF tools with the um logistics power, LP power. Oh, it's been ages since I've done this. Absolutely ages. I mean, I can't look at it, obviously, because uh, I'm not allowed to. I can't get into anything to have a look at it. But uh, it seems as if he's got a nice little setup going on down here. He's got his blast furnace up there. Yeah, it must be that generator there. Look. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Oh, I can't open any chests. But tag, looking good. Looking good. Oh, I can't get out of there. This is clear glass. Quite clear glass. So, oh, what's going on up here then? 
Let's take a look. Ah, you see. Got the stuff. It's got the stuff going on. Liquid XP. I wouldn't mind getting into that, actually. I need to get into that at some stage to get rid of my levels. If I die with 35 levels, I'm not going to be too happy about it. So, right, let me go back home, though. Because, at the moment, I am miles away from home. And stuff's going to start spawning. In fact, it already is. I can see creepers around there. And I don't want to uh, kill Tag's place. So, let's get some steak in our bellies. Run back home and try to sleep. In, uh, in decent time. And then, we can hopefully try to find some seeds. I can't find any. Like, anywhere. And I don't know why. I'm going to have to ask some questions around about the place to see if there's some way of getting uh, seeds. Some pneumatic plant seeds. I haven't, like I said, I haven't seen one. Usually you see quite a lot of them, but uh, I haven't. I haven't seen one of them, I'm afraid. I'm going to have to do, like, a compound at some stage, because things spawning all over the place, if I'd leave it, like, a minute into night time, you know, I'm screwed. So, right, let's go to sleep really quick. There we are. And then I'm off to find some more seeds, guys. Okay, um, I now know why I can't find any seeds. <laughs> Snow Sh uh, Snowshock quite kindly told me that it has been depreciated in, f uh, in favor of the oil system that is within Pneumaticraft now, which doesn't make things easier, in fact it makes things more bloody difficult. Which, the, to be fair, it did kind of need, uh, we're at 1.2 bar worth of pressure now, which is awesome, um, but yeah, it did kind of need, uh, but still, a little bit annoying when I want to try to craft some stuff and I need the uh, need the plastic, so I need a plastic mix uh, mixer. The only problem is to get, I need li liquid plastic as well. To get liquid plastic, guys, it's not easy. It needs the thermo pneumatic processing plant. Although you can see it does it with no pressure whatsoever. The only thing is I still need LPG to be able to do it. That, however, does require pressure. <laughs> Too bad to do that, the new thermo pneumatic, and that requires gasoline. Gasoline can be done in a build craft refinery, um, or in the thermo pneumatic processing plant, which does in fact need two, um, two bar. The temperature, however, is the issue. That's the problem. I'm not getting enough, uh, wet, no, nowhere near enough pressure just yet to be able to do this. But again, kerosene, diesel, refinery you put the oil in there to get the refinery to get the refinery going so I do need to do all of this stuff the good thing is the refinery doesn't require or at least I don't think it requires pressure it doesn't say anything about any pressure being here it just requires temperature in order to do this so let's go ahead and make some refineries I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, sort my inventory out and get some stuff ready Alright guys, well let's go ahead and start making these refineries. I'm going to make four because it seems the best way to do it. Ooh, weather crystals. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make four. Can I grab them all? Yes, I can. Good stuff. Two, three, four of them. Fantastic. Let's put that compressed stuff back. This doesn't, like I said, this itself doesn't require uh, pressure. The, the thing that heats it up, however, does require pressure. It only requires f uh, 100 degrees worth of uh, worth of heat. And now, the issue is with that one, if I am going to place this anywhere, I probably want to place it right about here. Whoops. So if we look inside there, look, we've got access to... It needs two refineries, look, ranging from two to four. Um, it's got no oil in it. So that's fair enough. It's not got any. Uh, it's not got any heat at the moment. Apply more heat by uh, adding blocks that generate heat around this machine. Now this is where it gets interesting, guys. Now we've got two, but we've, the other ones are blacked out. We're going to go ahead and uh, oh, we are going to add them in. If I can manage to uh, get something to stand on. There we go. Oh, this one might be able to work. There we go. And then, <laughs> it's like doing parkour. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, come on, I was there, I was there. Yes. Now we've got four. This is a whole refinery full of stuff here. I think it takes longer to uh, to heat up when it's, you know, so big. But, as you can see, it's got nothing inside there. The thing is, we need something to heat this bad boy up. Now we could go ahead and put some netherrack under there and then set it on fire. You could put lava underneath, however, it knows about this, 
and it will turn it into obsidian within moments. So there's absolutely no point in doing that. It might be you know, good for a little kickoff of temperature, but in the long run, it's not going to work. What we're going to need is, at least I believe it is, a vortex tube. Now this vortex tube is re relatively cheap to craft actually, but it does require quite a lot of pressure um, to, to, to actually use. Let's go and uh, get the stuff to be able to make it. I've got two of these and I've got enough of that, I believe. I just need a couple of golden ingots, of which I don't have any uh, cooked up just yet. No, that's yellow, right? Everyone uses big reactors, guys. It's been really good, though, to uh, look into something else. Um, like this, for instance, the pneumatic tubes and pneumatic craft in general. It's been really, really good to look into. Um, the whole thing is the refinery now. We need we need the stuff out of that. We need to get the pneumatic, thermo-pneumatic processing plant. That requires um, heat as well. It requires quite a bit of heat. Um, so we've got to keep an eye on that. Sneak for more info. This is how we're going to make our plastic and that plastic is how we're going to go ahead and, uh, and do everything so let's get that put that into there get ready to sleep because it's nearly night time have I got a light boy over to light well we won't have light soon there we go apparently there's an update coming don't know when it'll be though And there's the gold ingots. So let's go ahead and make this by putting them two there, them two there, and these either side of it. That is our vortex tube. Now this is a very interesting thing. It creates heat with onrushing air. However, it does require it does make cold as well. That's the wrong way around. You see the red? That's the heat. The blue, that's the cold. There we go. When you want the cold going out. You want nothing behind the cold, otherwise it will just not doing anything. Um, so if we look inside here, we're now at a pressure of 1.4 bar. I don't know how this is going to work. Let me go ahead and see. So I need two of them and a bit of glass. That's okay, I've got that. I'm going to need some more tube. Oops, bit of glass. There we go. There we are. Gives us eight more of this. And it'd be nice to get the refinery up and going. If we can start making some of that stuff, then that'd be awesome. And like I said, we can do a separate, uh, a second separate thing with this. There we go. The only thing is, look at the pressure. The pressure on that has gone up to 1.4 bar. But this is going to drop. You can see the air is currently going down. So there's no way that one air compressor is going to be enough to keep up with that vortex tube. This thing, it's just not going to be able to. The heat is going up and will generally, you know, it should go up to 100, uh, over 100 with one of these vortex tubes. Otherwise, we may require two vortex tubes and I really don't want to do that. But it goes on how much pressure there is. And because there isn't that much pressure, it's not creating that much heat by the looks of things. We're stuck at 66%. Um, we're going to need a little bit more. Let me get rid of two of these. See if that will actually allow me to heat it up quicker. Well, there you go. We're getting a lot further now. So it might happen to... We've got the two refineries if we need them, but it looks as if we might have to stay with just the two tanks for the moment to uh, allow us to get up to that 100%. But for the moment, the pressure is rapidly dropping, and I need to sort that out. This is the sustainability. This is not sustainable. I would need a tree farm or something to constantly feed this with wood or charcoal or something of the something like that to constantly feed it and have a massive bank all of air uh, air compressors to make this to work. There we are. Or something along the lines of. So that's what I need to try to work out. See if it's actually going to do it. So we're stuck at 92 temperature. Ah, come on. No. So I think we might also be able to get away if we had a piece of netherrack, which we don't at the moment. I haven't been to the nether. I'm going to have to uh, create the create the nether, should we say, and, uh, and go off into the nether. I'm going to do it, you know, over here somewhere so I don't get the annoying noises. So we can just pop into the nether. Should I do it so it's in the floor? I think I should. 
Where's my... Oh, it's down there. I thought I had it. There we are. And then a couple more of them. And we just need to make some flint and steel now. And we will be sorted. And we can go through to the nether, get some netherrack, and put the netherrack burning underneath there. Okay, guys, let's try this out. I think this should work. I've been to the nether, and uh, I went ahead and got myself some of this. This should push it over 100% easily. There we go. It's gone over 100 degrees. That's exactly what we want to see. That will never burn out. That will always be there. And uh, this will now go up to 115, 116, 17. So it will go up quite a ways. Uh, that's exactly what I want it to do. I need a bucket now. One that isn't full of water because I do have a water bucket kicking around somewhere. Let's go ahead and eat some steak. Nom 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 nom. Stuff. I've got a little water bucket here. Um, let's go and put that back into the water and get some oil so that you guys can actually see our first bit that's going to be made. So, of course, this doesn't replenish itself. Um, we have to be very, very careful with what we've got here. I'm just going to go ahead and slap that in there. So, what we'll see happen is the oil will gradually turn into two different things. Diesel and LPG. The LPG we're going to be using in our system for the gas turbine, so we're already creating that, that's fantastic, uh, and that will store itself in the second tank into here, and the diesel in the bottom tank right there, that makes 48. So as you can see the temperature has gone down because we've got some stuff inside it, um, the temperature has gone down to 99 degrees, as it, you, uh, you know, as it would, so it won't work anymore. <laughs> typical, it's absolutely typical. Although we still seem to be making diesel, so no idea what the heck is happening there. It might be just popping up to 100 and then back down again. I'm really not sure what the heck is going on. But either which way, it's creating some stuff. We need to create some more of these air compressors, quite a few more actually, to feed into the system. So we're making a net plus rather than a net loss, which we are currently doing at this moment in time. So let me get some stuff together and do that. Okay, I have two more air compressors down. Ignore that. That was just there to uh, put the air compressor on top of. I made a mess of uh, the amount of blocks I needed. But, uh, right, okay, let's go ahead and put a piece of dirt under there so at least it looks like it's not floating. And see if three air compressors all creating air would make a net plus of air. It actually does, guys. It does. We're making more air than we are currently using within the vortex chamber. But the amount of pressure that this thing is uh, is at would mean the higher the temperature it will work at. So it will use more air as it gets more air, if that makes any sense. So we've got to keep an eye on this. But three air pr air compressors seems to be a good thing. We'll need a, a like a wood factory or something going down so that we can make enough of this. But either which way, the heat is at 135, we've got some diesel in there, we've got some LPG in there, and uh, the, uh, the thing that we've got to heat next is the thermoneumatic processing plant. That is going to require vortex tubes as well um, to be able to go ahead and do. But we seem to be there, we seem to be getting three air compressors, so that is good. We'll, have, we'll probably have a big long line of these, you know, as and when we go forwards with coal or charcoal, in which case this is probably going to be uh, lining that. Now when we get to a further, more advanced stage, we can get advanced air compressors. But unfortunately these require the assembly controller to be able to go ahead and make. That requires uh, 20 pressure valves, all these assembly I.O. units and blah, 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 and an assembly platform. Not sure how to actually set these out, but it will require the program as well. Um, so that will come in future. That runs off liquid that can as well which is LPG that can run off that um, which is great so as you can see the temperature is 137 now and counting just wondering if putting another refinery on there would make things go mad let's go and have a look so the heat the heat will drop but it seems as if we've still got enough heat there to be able to melt this down we're at 115 now will the fourth make a difference. Will that drop below? 98. 99. It looks like it might actually do it, guys. Let's go and get a bucket of oil. Test this out. We might be able to get all four ready and rare in here. It's stuck at 99. <laughs> As it bloody well would and all. Well, the temperature is actually going down, and that's because of the oil inside it there, but... Uh, 
At the moment, it's not looking too bad. We just need to get this out of here so that we can start making some more stuff. I'm wondering if it's got its own slots. Problems, not enough heat. Uh, no space for fuels to be outputted. Remove any output fuel. And we'll do that. We'll do that with Ender IO. And probably just some tanks for the moment. Maybe a, a, little, a little portable tank. Really not too hard to go ahead and craft. Um, and Ender IO's fluid conduits. Just a bog standard one, nothing really uh, to be worried about there. So that is probably what that is what we're going to be doing. Um, have I got enough time to do it in this episode? I think I have. So here we are, guys. I'm at the table, ready and waiting to go ahead and f uh, craft some fluid conduits. Now these things are interesting um, in that I absolutely love Ender IO. That's why they're interesting, guys, because I love Ender IO. Let's have a look inside here. The temperature was at 101 degrees, but it can't do anything because of what it's got in its ca tanks currently. Can we actually get our bucket and bucket that oil back out? No, we can't. Never mind, that's fine. So, we're going to do this this side. And I don't know if that will work like that. We'll give it a crack. I'm sure the Crescent Hammer works. Yes, it does. Get in. It's in um, input mode. So we just need to take that off. Oh, that does work. Sweet. So now that's got uh, liquid running through it, we can actually put this down. We're going to have to stop it from connecting to each other. Um, like that. Again, stop it connecting from each other. Oops. Let's try that again. There we are. There we are. And then auto extract. And that will auto extract into the uh, into there. So when it's finished, oh, it's actually still crafting some kerosene and gasoline, and now LPGs there. So the issue is that this is not actually going to be putting. Well, that's going to be doing diesel. That that is always going to be doing diesel. Um, the issue is kerosene is not going to go into here because this is a portable tank for something else. Um, Actually, let me go to sleep really quickly. I'll make a couple more portable tanks. Oops, I made a mess. What do you mean there's monsters in here? Where are these monsters? Is it underneath my bed? It is an all, isn't it? You can see it now. Uh... Right, okay. That's fine. I'll fix that. Let's go to sleep really quickly so nothing kills me when I'm trying to do this. So we're not doing too bad. We are not doing too bad at all, guys. It's not as hard or it's not as bad as what I was expecting it to be. Hello. Doing the server kill. Because <laughs> I can't kill it any other way without dying, so. Um, right, ten. Should be enough. Should be enough. I need eight pieces of glass. Two copper. We can upgrade these at a later date if we so wish. There we go. Two portable tanks. Two lovely looking portable tanks, I have to say. And then we... In fact, it wouldn't be a bad idea to just do it here. Like that. But okay, let's just grab the, both of these and grab all of this. There we are. Right, the diesel, that one, wants to go on the bottom, right here. We'll get that going from here. Straight into there like that. Auto extract. Yeah, active without signal. Um, the next is kerosene, is it not? Yeah, kerosene. That requires a new portable tank. One that doesn't have... Get here. Why are you not switching? I don't want you to output. <laughs> no! Okay, well, we're going to have to do it a different way then. Never mind. Here's me expecting to be all awesome about it, but apparently not. We'll do it this way. 
So we'll put that down here. We'll do kerosene on this side. Like that. That's going to get kerosene in there. I'm going to grab this. LPG should be the last one, to be honest. Yeah, so gasoline is the one after that. Boop. There we are. And we're going to put that there. Turn that off. So gasoline can now go into there. And again, I'm running out of blocks here to stand on. So furnaces it is. Oh. Cheers. And then LPG is going to be the last one. Doesn't look exactly fantastic, guys, but it does the job for the moment. And there we go. We are now creating ourselves all the necessary requirements for everything. Are we still losing air? No, it seems as if we're putting air in. We've got 1.7 bar of pressure. Now, the, the issue with me is, when I was doing the testing for this, I started to put too much pressure through, and I didn't know how to work out the pressure release valve. That's the issue. I never uh, figured out how to actually use it. So, it looks like we're doing well. Looks like we're doing great with uh, with regards to the temperature here. We've got a south temperature of what... It seems to change, look. Not sure. It's at 99 degrees. Everything's getting... Is that... Yes, it's still being used. It's still using the oil. It's still using the oil to do the process of refining. So, it seems as if we've done it, guys. We have done it. Next episode, we need to sort out the thermo pneumatic processing plant. But again, like I said, I believe that needs its own um, little circuit, its own compressed air system, rather than trying to use it with this in the background there, uh, because it's a pain in the backside trying to do this. Not only are we going to need um, the thermo pneumatic processing plant, I think we're going to need more than one of them because of the amount of stuff we're going to be crafting with this. But we are, sta we are making LPG, guys. We're making LPG. So I think next episode, what I can do is start making the gas turbines to make use of the LPG so we can start getting some powered machines, some farms going, some, um, you know, wood farms. That would be absolutely fantastic. So I can fill these full of charcoal. That would be brilliant. And then, uh, you know, get some sort of pressure release system going and stuff like that. Once I've got the basics of everything running and I've started making power, that's when I can start making things look good, changing stuff around and, and, and what have you. I just want to try to make it as look as good as, well, trying to make it work at the moment. Um, which it's doing. Which it is doing. And we are creating all of the stuff that we need with it. So that's great. I am happy with what we've currently got. So that is going to be it for the end of this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like. And I will see you next time. Until then, I'm the tough man as always. Stay safe.